you don't need to have straight hair you don't need to bleach your skin you don't need to look like a white person to be fine you are black <laughs> welcome back to my channel if you're new on this channel you know the dream like subscribe and leave a comment so today i'm going to talk about something that's probably sensitive to a lot of you all <laughs> i hope you uh, yeah, all do not get angry i'm going to talk about the good hair bad hair notion so there's this whole idea um i'm in nigeria i'm in west africa in case you're wondering where nigeria is and africa is not a language so there's this whole idea that people have about good hair and bad hair people consider coily hair good hair people consider fussy hair kinky hair bad hair quote and unquote i have heard this thing so many times like from women from guys they're like oh i'm going to marry somebody that is fair somebody that is uh, white so that my children hair will be nice like the one that we see on instagram calculate I understand that, that see there's preference fine there's that there's preference that okay i like white people i like dating blacks but there's the there's the mentality there's the colorism mentality there's the texturism mentality there's the idea that you think that if the hair is not coily the hair is not zigzag the hair is not good hair like it just doesn't make sense and then where where okay where did this whole idea come from right from my own personal research and observation i feel like this is a slavery mentality i feel like this is this is an aftermath of slavery colonization the fact that you know white people held black people enslaved them and you know they just believe that they start looking onto anything that the white person does is is supreme is superior that's the standard of beauty that they should follow that that's why when the natural hair community started what, what was the major aim the major aim was what to put it back in your hair that your hair is fine you your hair is your hair is fine the way it's kinky your hair is fine the way it's nappy you don't need to have straight hair you don't need to bleach your skin you don't need to look like a white person to be fine you are black you are brown just be yourself and be fine simple but i'm not even going to blame this all on slavery and colonialism okay I still feel like some of the blame, some part of the blame was still boils down to us. Because if you analyze, okay, I, there was one project I read, somebody's project work, the lady analyzed um, adverts and all that. And she, you, she discovered that most adverts, most um, product adverts and billboard adverts, the, the caliber of women that you see they put out there, they have you no know, coily hair, they have straight hair, they have the perfect boob side, they have the perfect waist, they have the perfect hip side. All these things, what, what does it do? Psychological conditioning. The more you see them, the more that's why women are drinking slim tea, slim tea that does not work. And drinking slim tea, wearing waist trainer, you know, all those things because they are trying to look like that perfect girl on the billboard. Is it the same thing that happens with what? With hair. It's just recently that we started seeing some people put nappy, kinky hair, fussy hair on billboard. I think there was a time I saw Lupita on Calvin Clare or so. I, I, I really don't know. Before then, you will hardly, you will never see, even when they are doing adverts, they will make it look like, oh, fussy hair is dry, it's just bad, it's, it's all of that. So imagine as a child growing up, you keep seeing that, keep seeing that, keep seeing that. What will happen? You grow up to assume that, ah, this hair type is bad. So I want, I want three type, type three hair. I want my to be curly. I want my to be this. And again, hairdressers too. Okay, for like example, in Nigeria, hairdressers too, they do it. If you go to the salon, it's something to say they don't know how to do hair. They don't, they don't know how to do hair. They'll say, ah, this is your hair hard though. Why you not go just relax and make the thing just, uh, make the thing just calm down. You are the one that needs to calm down, madam. Don't just know, don't know your history. Don't know your job. You are the one that needs to us calm down. No, 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 no. Your hair does not need relaxer. You are already relaxed. Come on. You already relax, okay? So this things to psychological conditioning. So even parents too, I've not seen some of them, they even do this to their children. Their small, small children. They say, ah, your hair, ah, your hair is not, ah, what is that? Ah, 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 ah. But if you get with like pens it and hey, 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 that is it, that is it. I've forgotten this movie that I saw. Duma hated the, the, her blackness so much that she never wore her hair out. Like she infused it on her own daughter. 
Like the daughter also hated this so much that she could not even look at herself. Even at night, when she even when she's having sex with her partner, she must wear a wig or something, straight hair. She just could not stand kinky hair. And it was so bad. I was like, oh my god, I really understand what you were pointing out. Like I said before, there's preference. So there's preference that oh you want this wig, you want this, you want that. But there's the deep down safe self-hate that boys and to oh you want to marry a white person so that your children will have good hair. Are you all right? Eh? So people that are African, people that are black, they don't have good hair or what? This even somehow connects to the word long hair obsession. Because I noticed that the only time that fussy hair is appreciated or the way they say, oh, nice hair, hair go, hair go, is when the hair is long. Long reaching the woman buttons. That's they say, oh, good hair. Oh, it can grow. African hair can grow. Eh, eh. You don't know that it can grow before. But when the hair is just normal, you know, Normal afro to her. No, 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 no. Unless it's really, really zigzag like spaghetti coily. Ah, that's when they will post it. Ah, appreciation, appreciation is very bad. So we too, we are part of the problem. So I don't, I don't want to come here and, you know, make noise about colonialism, link it to slavery, link it to how black people are always Africans. I always try to copy white people, want to be like them, bleach their skin, want to be like the white one because they feel like, oh, white people are better deep down your head no 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 no. i'm just here to, to tell you that no matter the hair that you have my dear you have good hair okay get your your head out of the gutter and throw away that mentality that ah if your hair is not coily or straight it's not good hair no 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 no, no. you guys so um that's that's just my very very little rant and um i don't want to waste much of your time ah <sighs> that's off my chest yeah. so 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 basically that is it so um if you like this video which i mean you might not like it maybe you are triggered by this video maybe you feel like i've, I've caught you i've seen your comments where you said eh, you good day bad day inside group and i singled you out i mean i've been wanting to say these things since i decided to just say it now that you know i mean i just i just want women to embrace yourself like and love yourself don't love yourself how can somebody love you man love yourself love your hair this is the hair that you have this is the hair that you die with just get used to it my dear so you guys this is the end of this video i'm going out so if you like this video make sure you share this video with your friends leave your comment down in the comment section what do you think about the whole idea of good hair bad hair do you think that there's um texturism in, in the natural hair community do you think that some people are favored more because they have loser textures and people with kinky texture are just like oh, what is she carrying on her head you know you guys leave a comment down in the comment section and you guys before you go before you go please please i'm holding a natural hair class you guys just take this as a you know sip and chat with me kind of class it's going to be an online class you guys so click the link in the description for to join the class and it costs just five dollar one thousand five hundred naira in nigeria you guys come and support your girl you're gonna get a free ebook written by me and if you're in nigeria you're going to enter the giveaway straight up so you guys um like this video and make sure you leave a comment if you're not subscribed to my channel subscribe and um i'll see you in my next video stay fabulous and love yourself bye <laughs>